Hi everyone, so this is the uh, MX P50M from Amazon. Uh, I ordered it on August 8th and I didn't get it until today, which is August 27th. So that's almost 20 days. I believe it, com it comes from China. Um, now, this particular unit um, described in Amazon as a 45 watt uh, HF power amplifier for uh, Yesu uh, FT817 and I guess 818 and also the ICOM 703, supposedly the ICOM 705 and the Elecraft KX3 RPM radio. Uh, it, um, it's wrapped pretty well. As you can see, I'll leave the link, the Amazon link in the bottom. Now, one thing to note, um, you can get these on eBay and they're probably like a hundred dollars or more or less inexpensive or cheaper. And just to let you know that uh, this is not the least expensive way to get this unit. Um, definitely more expensive uh, I wanted to buy it this way because it has a policy that you can return it so that's something that um, was positive for me so this is the first time I'm seeing this amplifier and you see it a lot in on, on YouTube videos and when I saw this the first time, I thought it was pretty big. As a matter of fact, it is not that big, actually. I thought it was going to be bigger. So here is a uh, iPhone SE2. And you can see that um, it's almost as the height of that. Definitely a little bit thicker. Um, let's compare this to the IC705. So it comes in my box here. I'll open the box. compare it. Let me unplug it first. There it is. And this is my uh, solar go box, which I really like. Okay, so here's the IC705 and here is the MXP uh, 50. Uh, let's see. I'm really surprised. I thought it was going to be much bigger. It's not that bad. Uh, you can definitely put it on top. Hmm. I don't know if that would be a good idea because that's where the heat will be transferred out most likely. Uh, I don't think putting it on the top would be a good idea either, but you never know. Interesting. I'm trying to give you a sense of how big it is. These videos, sometimes they show you this and it's like, how big is it? And you know what? <laughs> For what it does and the, the weight, you know, it's not that bad, actually. Not bad at all. Very interesting. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I can do here to give you a sense of size. And it looks like it's about three, uh, 3.75 inches. 
by from here, of course, not from the dial. From there to there is approximately six inches, a little more than six inches, and maybe, what's that, an eighth? I think those are eighths, right? So, oh, and then how thick is it? Hmm, yes. About an inch and a quarter almost, maybe a little more than that. Yeah, a little more than that. Maybe another eighth more. It's really, it's really solid. It's really small. Very, very impressed. Now, like some YouTube videos, let's get to see what's inside. Uh, there's a, um, a, a chip here that is, I think, from Motorola, and many of these do not have that chip. And we'll find out if this one does. I think this screw here is long, or, small, or is it short? No, this is the short side. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna be this way then. A short, and this one's the long one. Somebody posted that uh, this is a very nice student project. I guess it wasn't, um, you know, soldered nicely. We'll see how well this one's soldered. Apparently this panel does get stuck a little bit. We'll find out. Oh, this is the longer screw. Okay. And there it is. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. So, as you can see here, and then... Let me focus a little bit better here. As you can see, that this here doesn't have a name. Um, it's really similar to the soldering that they do, um, that you see in any of these devices. So apparently this here um, if it's up to spec, then you might be able to overdrive it. There's a great video that explains a little bit on how these, um, this whole thing works. And definitely, I'll put that on the um, description. I don't see it modified in any way here. So I doubt this is going to run on the 705. Uh, you can see um, the soldering that they did, the, the wires, the, the coils here, these, I guess these relays, these massive um, uh, resistors, uh, the LEDs. I mean, it looks nice. It's too bad that this chip is not the Motorola chip that uh, is expressed. And here you have the by BG4IGX. So I'm wondering if this is similar to the other ones that you get on eBay. Maybe it's possible. And you know, some sometimes you can't find these at all. Okay. So that's the first thing. Uh, that's the first thing I wanted to know. And then I'm going to turn this around. And then I'm going to put these screws back. Maybe I can use this screwdriver here. Then again, maybe not. Yep, I can. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay. And you can see um, you have a power, and then this one is to uh, switch it, right? To activate it to tell it, hey, go. Uh, we got a input, output. Um, Pretty sturdy there. 
some uh, rubber feet switch. You know, the switch is a little bit long. It would be nice if it was shorter than the dial. Pretty basic. Basic indeed. What else it comes with? It comes with all these accessories because they're going to want you to, well this is the power and this is to activate. And these are all the different plugs, all the you know ring, ring tip sleeves that you can imagine. That's going to be a bit challenging for me to figure out what is what. Um, this I'm probably going to change for Anderson power poles mo most likely. It does seem to have a fuse. That's good. It runs on 12 volts. Um, not sure how much current it takes, but it. Uh, I'm sure um, my 3 amp hour battery could take care of both. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to need a solar panel connect to it so that the battery won't drain, especially a 3 amp hour battery. Okay, I hope this was interesting, um, something that maybe you might consider buying. I will keep you updated, uh, see how this, um, this particular project goes. So um, I hope to see you on the air. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.